arrive at Anfield for the very first time in their history as they work on the training ground as we see the players make their way out. Nice moment for Alberto Moreno to leave Liverpool out tonight. Alisson following him, getting another taste of Anfield, of course, after coming with Roma and for Fabinho. Well, I think it's noticeable that he has included the likes of Becker, the likes of Cater, and the likes of Fabinho to give them a little bit of sample of what the atmosphere might be like here you know, I think it'll be a little, a little bit busier, a little bit uh, more packed at the weekend, but it certainly gives him a little bit of a taste. He knows what it's all about. He doesn't need to be introduced, and uh, he certainly doesn't need to do any introductions himself. He was absolutely fantastic last season. Hopefully, you know, he can follow that up with a second season just as well. well. Let's have a look at the Liverpool starting 11 that's been named by Jurgen Klopp for this game. The, the main concerns, of course, going into the first game of the season at the moment are injury problems at the heart of the defence, and, and as Gary mentioned, Dayan Lovren not being fully fit after returning just uh, yesterday from his extended holiday after the World Cup final. So Matt Phillips, Matt Phillips, should I say, starts alongside Virgil van Dijk there. There's no Clavan, of course, at the moment, and Joe Gomez is out as a precaution to a slight knock this evening as well to add to Joel Matip's injury. Well, that's three centre-backs that he can obviously look to play alongside van Dijk, so it's an opportunity for young Matt Phillips. I think the games, we've seen him won maybe every game through pre-season, but, you know, that can happen without any shadow of a doubt to more senior players. I think he's equipped himself pretty well as a young man, so it's an opportunity opportunity for him to show what, the, what he's worth to the manager tonight. And no James Milner, of course, followed his 15 stitches in his head that he picked up in Dublin at the weekend, despite him wanting to play. Well, it'll be interesting to see if he plays at the weekend. I, I don't think 15 stitches is going to stop James Milner playing, to be honest with you. I think he's one of these pros that just wants to play football, and I, I would be surprised to see him. Well, this is the Torino side that has been named by Walter Mazzari. We've seen him, of course, with Watford and with Napoli at, at, at Anfield before. Their main threat, of course, is Andrea Bellotti. He's the new big hit, really, of Italian football in terms of, of what he gives to this side. 26 goals the season before last and double figures in his other two seasons with Torino. And with Alex Berenguer and Iago Falke just off him, they have Liverpool. Well, Liverpool need a bit more preparation for the new season. Michael Oliver wants a bit more preparation as well. He's in charge. And there's the delivery towards Salah. May have just got a toe on the end of it, but couldn't divert the ball towards the goal. Well, he just does get a touch. I really what catches Torino out is the airliness of the cross from... Alexander Arnold just hits it in first time. What a lovely, lovely service that is from a will get possession. Salah oh, just can't quite thread it through to Mane, but it was so slick, wasn't it? The interchange was electric on the edge of the penalty area. Well, again, it just shows you the importance of having wide players that can play narrow as well and make these little diagonal runs through the, the spaces that are left by the back three on the Thiago Falke, but. He was just offside. Allison made the save anyway. Scott Ledger's flag go, halting the progress. Hans loved that as well. I know it didn't really matter the save. A lot he just he goes and then checks, but just can't check far enough to get back on side. And Salome just do that now. Sadio Mane, it's a good step. He defended it just about enough to hold him off. Although the referee turns round and says. That could well be a Liverpool penalty. Well, credit to Sadio Mane, he tries to stay on his feet, doesn't he? And in doing so, he loses control of the ball. I think it's Bremer that really makes the challenge. He just sticks a leg out. Now to open his Liverpool account. And maybe he tried to be too precise. He doesn't miss many, you know. Well, he certainly missed that one. Wide of the target. The game with Salah, and he has support here. And Firmino with a little cut back and shot. Scoring in Anfield again, just like he was last year and the year before. Roberto Firmino is off the mark in pre season, setting himself up perfectly for the new campaign. He's only got 45 minutes under his belt, but it doesn't matter when you find yourself in a position like that as a striker. The instinct is still there. The ability to be cool and calm and collected and not panic in situations like this. Credit for Fabinho, he made a really good run and then the building partners a little bit. Might be a shot to hit for Alexander Arnold here. It certainly was, it was a decent effort as well, and Sidigu had to make the save. 
Well, we know he has that ability. The youngster, he's not shy of having a pop at goal. I've seen him take the free kicks and he strides forward. Why not? It's on his right foot. Hits it with a little bit of swell. See the good. Goes straight down to his right hand side. Gets a big hand on it. It's a decent save. And here's Firmino. That's a lovely goal. And Liverpool are in again. And Liverpool score again for Ginny Wijnaldum. And, and that's the old Liverpool. That is a classy goal. That is a real quality goal. And I tell you what, all credit to young Nat Phillips because it's an absolutely scintillating ball into the front man. It's something that Liverpool, I think, need to do a lot more this season. Look from there. That's towards Belotti. Well, he is capable of scoring all types of goals, and there's a thumping header. Just crept in behind Nat Phillips. And Torino have themselves the goal back. Well, Allison is beaten for the first time. Allison can do nothing, really. I think Alberto Moreno really has to get out a little bit quicker. Well, by Baselli. That's Rincon's little ball looking for Bellotti. Oh, you can see the intention there, but it's so tight. There's not a real great deal of space behind Liverpool's back line there. It's always going to be a difficult ball. Baselli just trying that little dink over the top. It has to be absolutely inch perfect. Well, the, and Mohamed Salah's moving at real pace. And when he's going like this, he's hard to stop. But then Kulu did well. There was just enough to. Put Salah off enough of a touch, maybe. But he just got the ball stuck a little bit underneath his feet. Whether you give credit to the defender or not, just I think it was the pace that Salah was having to go at that just caused the, the problem. A lot of oh, the that's brilliant from Liverpool. The touch by Salah, the save by Sidigu, the follow up by Alexander Arnold. That's a really, really good block by Alex Berenger to United Trent Alexander Arnold. Liverpool car Torino open there, Salah. Away from one, can't get away though from Izzo, who's defended really well against Mohamed. I'm sure it was meant for Keita, but Keita gets it. And Keita's shot is deflected over the top by Nkulu. Well, he wins a 50-50 with Mehti. Doesn't fancy it, there's the Frenchman. And then it's just whether he can get the shot on target. Yanks and Shakiri. Is Curtis Jones always oh, just going wide of that right hand up right for Salvatore Sirigu? Uh, he has the confidence to shoot from distance, it doesn't quite make the contact that he wanted. Confirmation of all the substitutes on the screen there as the ball is delivered towards Ings, who just got a little too much on it as he turned, he knew straight away, he just got it wide. Torino players looking for the, the offside flag. I think he just times his run to perfection. It's lovely. Look. Wanted to go once he got the ball up towards halfway. And Liverpool have it with Shakiri. And the idea was nice for Daniel Sturridge. It was just a little too heavy for him. Well, the pass was too heavy, but I don't think Daniel Sturridge really expected it. You can see that Shakiri just for Arnold. That's in towards Sturridge, faces up the defender, shoots, super stop by the goalkeeper. Little drag from Daniel Sturridge, carved the chance out for himself, but Surigu was equal to it. Well, really good play from Liverpool, isn't it? They switched the ball ever so well. Shakiri with that little diagonal pass, and put a lovely ball into Daniel Sturridge. What do you do with it now? Cross is good, the ball is good, and Surigu makes the save and the half save, and it so clears the ball off the line. Nearly for Danny Ings, very nearly. Well, I think there's questions whether he gets clipped a little bit or not. Shakiri does exceptionally well because everybody's expecting the cross. He just disguises it so well when the overlap from Trent Alexander Arnold. Lovely little ball, whether it was a touch or not. I don't know. And a few of the few of those alongside him are different. Little high from Daniel Sturridge. Well, he did have the option to go with Andrew. Robertson and the overlap outside him, but I, I think once he's in that sort of position, he only has focus and eyes for one thing, and that's a short sure goal, as you would expect from any striker to be on. And Klein and Shakiri, and that's towards Sturridge. It's a glorious ball, and Daniel Sturridge just glances the ball beyond Surigu, but it's all about the delivery from Shirdan Shakiri. It is just simply delicious.
and Sturridge couldn't miss. And Liverpool wrap it up with the third goal. Oh, so often last season we lacked that creativity in the, the final third of the pitch from a midfield player. Shakiri.